For centuries, people from all around the world have been fascinated by the possibility of extraterrestrial visitors. Today we are joined by Nicholas Pope, author, journalist, and sometimes called the real Fox Mulder. Welcome to you, Nick. Thanks for being with us today. Thanks, Nikki. Well, Nick, you worked with the British government's UFO project at the Ministry of Defense. And based on your top secret findings, you say that you believe with 99% certainty that we're not alone. So tell us what you've discovered. Well, I think it's inconceivable in this infinite universe that we're alone. Mm -hmm. And then that begs the question, if we're not alone, are we being visited? It's a related question, and some of the UFO sightings that I've investigated for the British government have certainly made uh, all of us um, pause for thought and, and say, wait, maybe there is something out there. Maybe there is something to this. Absolutely. Well, you know, I mean, it's also a controversial issue. I think people are very torn, and I think a lot of times people really need to know about that research to, to get a better understanding and to base their opinions and judgments on statistics. It is controversial, yes. I think uh, if you get skeptics and believers together, the debate can get quite heated. Mm -hmm. And then over all of this, you get some people who believe maybe the government knows a little bit more about all this, the whole UFO question, than it's letting on. So you get conspiracy theories exactly. starting again. It all makes for... Yeah, it's a fascinating mix. Well, you know, we live in New Mexico, and in New Mexico, we have a major fixation about UFOs. It's a <laughs> long-standing fixation. I mean, what do you believe really happened in Roswell back in 1947? I honestly don't know, but I have no doubt that something unusual happened and something crashed. And what I think sometimes people don't, don't remember mm -hmm. is that this wasn't the media or uh, UFO researchers putting out this story. This right. was actually the U.S. military being the first people to say, hey, we found something here. Something mm -hmm. crashed. Right, and I, and I don't think the military has any reason to do anything except tell the truth and to bring the <laughs> facts to the table. Well, there's a lot of conspiracy and controversy about that, but that's, I think, one of the reasons that this whole subject is so interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, tell us about some other evidence that you've investigated, because, I mean, you've investigated everything from alien abductions to crop circles and animal mutilations. I mean, there's so many things. So give us a little insight on some of your findings. Well, I think it, most of it was UFOs. All those other things were really because there was nowhere else in government to send that sort of weird stuff. But mm -hmm. the sorts of cases that most interested me were UFOs tracked on radar, UFOs seen by commercial airline pilots, or cases where we had great photos and videos that are technical specialists could analyze. Okay. Well, I mean, let, let's talk a little bit about check into space because I know that's a big thing that's going on right now. And let's let our viewers in on what check into space actually is. Well, the new movie Super 8 comes out on June 10th. And in association with that, 7-Eleven have this check into space campaign. What you do, you go to a 7-Eleven store, uh -huh. you check in on Foursquare, and then one lucky adventurer will get the chance to actually go out into space to see what's out there. Now, wow. there are other things up for grabs too, zero gravity flights, lots of movie tickets, but someone is gonna have a fun, profound, and maybe life-changing experience. That's incredible. Yeah, Super 8 looks fantastic. I'm really excited about that. And I actually was in 7-Eleven yesterday and I bought a plastic Super 8 gulp cup. So I, I'm, I'm oh. all on it. I am on it. <laughs> no, that's, that's great. I think people are going to have great fun with this promotion. It really sounds like And is that going to be taking us all the way through the opening of the movie on the 10th? Yeah, the promotion's underway already. The movie comes out on June 10th, and uh, the Check Into Space promotion runs all month. Fabulous. So you can, you can go to the 7-Eleven.com website for all the details. Perfect. And the last thing I want to ask you about is, I mean, you're, as I mentioned, you're an author. You've written four books, and you've published a number of articles. So what are you working on now that we can look forward to? I'm working on a whole range of different things. A lot of what I do these days is TV shows, mainly documentaries, but uh, I'm also trying to do some dramas about UFOs and say, well, maybe, you know, I'm going to have my say. I'm going to have a go at doing something myself. I love it. Well, I would recommend coming back here to New Mexico because, like I said, it's a hot topic here in our state, and maybe you could come up with a new show for us here in Roswell where we could kind of uh, get some controversy going again. 
I'd love to do that. I've been to Roswell and I certainly hope to come back. Yes, controversy is fun, isn't it? Because it, Absolutely. It, 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 it fires up conversation and it makes people think and that's really the bottom line. You want to get people thinking. A absolutely. Get them debating, get them thinking. It doesn't matter if they disagree, but as long as you've got an opinion on this, and let's face it, most people have, that's great. Absolutely. Well, Nicholas Pope, thank you so much for joining us today, and we'll recommend everybody to head on into 7-Eleven and check into space. Thanks so much for being with us. Thanks, Nikki. Thank you.